we mm-hmm. just this week saw something a little scary go down for you in paradise. Um, mm-hmm. How have you been doing since the the faint, if you will, or the the pass out moment? Yeah. So I'll give you a like a, as quick of a timeline as I can. So I, I fainted. I open my eyes. I don't realize that my ankle is just destroyed. Um, I actually tried to get up and that's when I say, oh my God, I see my ankle. And it looked like almost if you had wedged a football into my ankle. Um, They quickly put me in the, in the, in the ambulance, which I did not fit in. I'm six, three. And I literally had like a third of my body hanging over. So they had a sweet EMT holding my ankle like this. And we had 30 minutes of unpaved roads. My leg is just going up and down. It was you know, if it wasn't so painful, it would have been the funniest thing you've seen in a, you know, like a Zap Galifianakis Oof. movie or something. <laughs> I get to the, I get to the hospital in Mexico and they have to put me under, do a reduction on my ankle, which is basically put it back in place. They wrapped me up, put me in a splint, threw me on an airplane. I get home. The doctors do like a CAT scan. I have three different broken bones. So your <gasps> ankle is made up of three bones. All three bones are broken, which is just this like insane, unexpected, um, you know, just a a bad break as the expression goes. And um, I had three weeks before I could even get surgery because the swelling was so bad. They said they wouldn't be able to put my my uh, wound back in place. So they had to wait for the swelling to come down. I spent just about a little over a month, 23 hours a day in bed, leg up couldn't do anything just my oh thankfully my you know my, my loving parents took me in and uh and took care of me in that time and and I couldn't be more grateful um and then I I, I was able to put my leg down the swelling got better I had the surgery came back to Miami about a week and a half ago I was expecting to get the news that I can start walking on a cane again they did x-rays they said one of your bones has shifted just a little bit and we really feel like we can make sure you're a hundred percent long run if we give you another surgery. And so I am yeah, show it off. Oh my <laughs> still God. cast it up. Cast. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And this has so, been because you guys filmed what back in June. So this has been I think, since I think June? this is like four months and three days is the exact Holy count. Holy so. smokes! Wow! So, yeah, so you're so. still not even walking with a cane. Like how are you getting around? Oh, you got that little bike. scooter. That's a <laughs> the sick knee, the ride knee scooter there. Is, is the accessory of the summer now scooting into fall. Oh my Everybody's gosh. loving it. Oh Who my would gosh. have thought that this drama between Brittany and Peter and you would have led to this, all of this? Yeah, quite, quite an unexpected turn of events um, and oh just really man. sad. But at the same time, you know, thank God I didn't hit my head on anything. You know, when it comes to fainting, it just it's just completely, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. I've never I've never had a fainting spell before. So when it happened, it literally, you know, they edit back and forth between the conversations happening over here and back to us. It Mm -hmm. honestly happened in a matter of seconds. The last thing I remember is turning to Rodney and saying, I feel dizzy. I think I'm going to pass out. And then I woke up. I woke up on the ground. 